Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create iterations in Azure DevOps projects. I have logged into my Azure DevOps account. You could see I have one organization and one project in that. Select the project, go to project settings, project configuration. You could see we have an iteration tab. So this is the place where we will be able to create and manage iterations for this project. Okay, you will be able to create new iterations, right, which you will be able to use for your iteration planning. Okay, so here we could see by default it has three iterations, but it doesn't have any dates set to it, right. So you will be able to edit and set the dates for it. For example, for the iteration one, I am going to start with the current date, right, and the end date I am going to give it as a one week, right. So and then I will be able to save and close, right. So this way we'll be able to manage the iterations. So now if you wanted to create a new iteration, you'll be able to do that. Click new child, right? So this one, it is going to get created under the iteration one. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then I'm going to click new child, right? So I can give an iteration a name. So I'm just going to follow the default values what has been given. So I can say iteration four and then I'll be able to specify the date for this iteration, right? So I wanted to give somewhere in number, possibly I'll be able to say, right, in date, you can either give uh, five days or how many over days you want to change, right? So you'll be able to create iteration for one week, two week, and how much ever, based on your requirements, even close, right? So this way, you will be able to create iterations in the Azure DevOps projects. In this demo, we have seen how to create and manage iterations in Azure DevOps projects. If you like this demo, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.